pepper tradition in Louisiana. Well, we're here in the uh, Tabasco fields on Avery Island with uh, Paul McElhenney. And uh, these are beautiful. These plants are great. I, I just uh, feel like I'm in heaven. <laughs> they are. They're doing well. We've had a good bit of rain, and they're just thriving. And so um, uh, tell us the purpose of maintaining the fields on Avery Island. Well, we used to grow all of our pepper here, and we'd like to, but uh, we really, the, available, the pool of uh, labor to pick them has kind of dried up, so we, we go to Latin America. This is a seed. We grow about 50 acres of pepper here on the island. And uh, we grow them for, to produce all of our seed. We do produce some pepper mash for product. But we keep this farm also as an experimental farm to make sure that our cultivational practices and knowledge of farming on peppers is as up-to-date as it should be. I see. And so uh, is the seed from uh, these plants then transferred to Latin America so that the, the growers maintain a, a, a uniform kind of crop? Exactly. We, we process the seed here. We dry it. We treat it with an anti-fungal uh, uh, powder. and we. Uh, cryovac it and then we send it there. We also put uh, I think about 50 pounds in uh, the bank vault in New Iberia <laughs> as, a, as a protection against total disaster. Well I, I know that uh, you're famous for your Tabascos and so forth but uh, you're getting interested in a lot of other peppers now right? Oh yeah we've <laughs> we've got the jalapeno sauce we're working on a habanero pepper sauce we have a uh, cayenne uh, blended pepper garlic hot sauce. We have all sorts of peppers we're working on besides the capsicum frutescens or the Tabasco right. variety. Uh, with this, uh, the boom in hot and spicy foods that's gone on uh, in this country, uh, we've seen a lot of imitators of, of your kind of product in terms of not necessarily the Tabasco but other pepper sauces and so forth. How are all these competitors uh, affecting, say, your market position with uh, Tabasco? Well, surprisingly enough, uh, you would have thought our, our market share has eroded, but it really has, has actually only a fraction, but it actually grew the last couple of years. But the whole industry is growing. Uh, the interesting and fun thing for us is that our market share is, is holding. Tell me about your theory of why hot and spicy foods have become so popular in the last 20 years. Well, it's, a, I think, a whole bunch of things. Uh, Mexican-American food, uh, soul food, Cajun Creole food, Southwestern chili craze, uh, all of those have taught people how to use chilies, how to use pepper sauces, how to use salsas, and have gotten people to kind of lose their fear. I really think that nachos and, and salsa, picante sauce and salsa, uh, where kids will just eat a lot of it, either in the Mexican restaurant or at home, has educated them about peppers, and it's just been a great boon to us all.